Hi guys, today we're gonna to talk about the amazing apps that I use on my Apple Watch. Now stay tuned and make sure if you're a flight attendant, you use some of them, all of them, and enjoy them to the fullest. So let's watch this video. I have it here on my main screen, so it's easy access. You're gonna to go to iTranslate, which I have here on my main screen, and you're gonna click the little button. Hi, this is the emergency exit. Let me know if you have any questions. Click Hola, es una salida de emergencia. Avísame si tienes alguna pregunta. There you go. Another app that I found super useful would be Bear, which is right here. Um, now, Bear is an easy way to on the go speak what needs to be done that day, or a memo, or a note, or a grocery. Bear is awesome, and I'll show you how it works. You click there, and don't forget to click your little hi to myself, note to self. I need to pick up some milk on my way home. Click done, and it automatically goes in your notes. Um, it's so easy when you get to the plane or you get in your car, you're like, oh, that's right, that's what I had to do. So these are notes, they're so convenient and so quick to show up. So definitely get there, you guys. That I absolutely love. I know a lot of you guys have the Apple uh, navigation maps. Uh, I like the Google, it connects to my phone and it gives me other, a, a lot more choices when I'm like looking for a gas station on the road, just click that. And then it says, no, um, obviously there's no addresses that are uh, put in, but when you do put anything on your phone, when it comes to Google maps, it will upload on your watch and kind of remind you what's going on and where you're at. So I really like that. The app that I really like is the timer. I like to have that widget on my main screen and I'll show you why. Let's say we have a flight and we'll arrive in about an hour. I have uh, passengers all the time asking me how much more time do we have? So as you can see here, you can pre-program them. If not, you can just kind of customize it. Um, and then let's say the flight is an hour and then you start the timer as soon as the plane takes off then you know you know when you need to do your final descent announcements and when you need to distribute you know snacks seats etc so this is a great way to know where you're at and your schedule so i always have my timer here on the bottom left guys currency is definitely the app that you need if you are traveling click that United States dollars, let's say you want to convert, I don't know, let's say $2, convert it. So in Mexican pesos, it would be 34 Mexican pesos, in Canadian dollars, it would $2, Australian, $3, British. I love how this is so helpful. You can change this anytime and you can actually reverse as well. If in Mexican pesos, they are telling you it's 800 Mexican pesos, then you know exactly how much it is in the US dollars, $46. So I love the currency, definitely a must have, and make sure that that widget is in the front here. So not only are you taking notes, translating, but you know the currency before you get out of the plane and adventure yourself in Mexico. Bottom right, my texts, obviously I have children, so when I am away, I wanna make sure they are safe and they're okay. So it's easy for me, instead of scrolling through here, all my messages and whatnot, or my applications, instead of going through, everything is here and so easy access, just click it and you'll get my messages here. So like to have the percentage of my watch at all times. So if it is dying, like so right now, you can leave it on lower power, uh, on low power mode and it's gonna save the battery because we obviously, as flight attendants, we need our watch to be fully charged prior to our shift, but if it starts dying, it's good to kind of save the battery because we need it in case of emergency. Foursquare is another fabulous app, depending. So you click four square. Let's go with coffee. You just do everything from your Apple Watch. So you can go to any of these places and click and it'll tell you exactly how far it is. But you guys, a tipsy is a must, especially if you are with your crew, you're dining out and you wanna know how much tip you wanna leave and not just that. Let's say the bill is $20. Let me show you this little gem. $20.88, done. Okay, so you wanna give a 20%, you're not sure. So let's bring that down to, you know, you're a very generous tipper, let's say 20%. So that would be $4. Now the total is here. But your crew and all the um, the crew members in total would be, let's see, I want to say four. No, not eight. 
Okay, we are five. So how many do you all give each? Let's give $5. But now let's say you are two. How do you split that? Instead of dividing and getting on your uh, calculator, it'll tell you $12.53. We'll include the bill and the tip together. So this is so such a cute little um, thing to have handy, especially when you're traveling abroad or you're traveling here um, within the United States and you just have to split the bill or know the amount that you want to give. So you want to stay hydrated at all times, especially when you are traveling. It's really important you have your water intake daily. So you're going to click a water llama. And then on the top right here, it's going to have a little plus. We're going to click that and it's going to tell you how much water do you want to drink every single time. So let's say we want to do 10 ounces of water. And then it's going to give you a little reminder. Hey, it's time for you to drink at this time. Uh, you know, this is a reminder. So open watermelon on your iPhone to get all features. So obviously you might have to pay, which I don't want to, but you can create your custom drink. Um, then you have cute little characters that you can change. Then there's little challenges to entice you to drink some more. Thing that you guys take seriously, which you should, especially if you are a flight attendant, make sure that you have a little reminder that lets you know, hey, you gotta be drinking and you're at 16%, but until the llama is full, that's when the llama is happy. You guys want more games to just entertain yourself. You're, you know, not busy and you wanna play. Games for watch is really good. Go with the free section here. And you'll have tic-tac-toe, matching, walk, whack a bug, sliding blocks, uh, fast match. That's pretty cool. Um, to start, so let's do that. And then we'll go like this, that, this. Fix and some really cute games that you can play. Um, so definitely download that if you guys want to. Now, if you want to pay, you can do so. There's puzzles, but it, it does come at a purchase. Or if you want to play Hangman, um, and then you have to purchase it. So yeah. Another little a widget or app to entertain you guys would be Geist. So you're gonna click that. Now Geist is so cute. You can play games such as Recall Memory, uh, color swipe reaction or pop quiz memory method. But let's say you want to play recall. You're going to play that. You start and then it'll give you like different things to recall. All these objects will just pop up one after the other. And then this and then that. It's not in order. But then if it's not, it says the first one you got, the second you didn't, the third you didn't. It's so cute. And then you can play with this for hours, you guys. Um, there's also the color swipe see here so then it says black so obviously it's not black is this yellow yes keeper is a, a winner in my mind it is absolutely crazy the graphic are insane if you guys want to get lost in mind keeper you just try to find little treasures through the rooms it's a lot of fun my daughter was watching it she's already on level four i mentioned to walk around this is all from fun it's insane look at this so the other app that I absolutely love that's so entertaining is you are the uh, basically hero of the story. Lifeline is the is the game. It's very intellectual. So basically you start out by they give you a choice, okay? So they kind of establish communication. Um, you decide who is it or I read you. So let's say you decided I read you, then they answer. Right, right, sorry, should have started with that. And then you have two choices. So you always have two choices to answer. So you basically answer as you go and you make your own story. It's pretty cool um, and it's very addictive as well. So the other app you guys is super fun. It's called Night Sky. So let's click it. If you are an advocate of like stars and constellation, you will love this, you guys. So what you're going to do is going to bring it up and it's going to tell you exactly where everything is situa situated in the sky. So at night, it's actually really pretty because it adjusts the screen to the area, you know, that you're at. So if it's pretty dark, it'll just adjust it to your um to your eye and to the environment but it is so cute first of all it lets you know where you're at so it's got a mini compass and then as you bring it up it's going to show you the constellation your app that i really like as well you guys especially when you're on a long flight and you guys just need a little bit of a distraction a bit of youtube so watch tube is what it's called all right and you can watch anything can we put a search and let's put a search and say Fly with a Shelly video. 
like done and some videos should be popping up here there we go and if for whatever reason you're interested in this one you can using the wi-fi in the plane watch my video look at that tell me if that's not fantastic click play you can zoom in well hello my lovelies i am so happy to see you guys how crazy today. is that I you can watch too because it's excellent um, you can browse just about anything. That's really entertaining is the Hit the Island. So let's click that. And this game is one of my favorite. I'm sure once you see it, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I love it too. So here's your little guy and you have to make sure that the little ball doesn't. So you just kinda, oh, boom, boom, boom. Another app that I really like is the Sleep Cycle. Yeah. So Sleep Cycle. Okay, so alarm set between 11.55 and 12.25. So what it does, it slowly wakes you up prior to the time that you're supposed to wake up, which is in two minutes. And what it's going to do, it's just going to slowly notify you um, as you're wearing your watch. See, slowly it's going ding, ding. Okay, so you can actually mute it. And what it's doing, it's little giving me little nudges. Um, so you can snooze it, right? And then it's going to snooze for about a minute. Now it's doing that prior to 12.25, as you can see here at the time. Okay, um, so it's just going to keep on reminding you that, hey, it's time to wake up. And until you click that button, it will keep on reminding you and reminding you until you finally, you know, give up and be like, okay, I'm up. I think every flight attendant should get Tural the app. Toro is amazing. It's actually people like you and I who rent out their cars at a cheaper price than any other car dealer like enterprise or budget or anything like that. So what you want to do is you want to download it on your phone, which will now after that will appear on your watch and you want to click Turo. And as you can see, I've rented a convertible Mustang on my car. I rented another car and then we went out of state um, and then we rented a Kia. Uh, so I would have put mileage on my truck at the time. So it was just literally excellent. The service was great. Car was amazing. Um, they offer also to pick you up if you can't, or they can meet you halfway, or you can just park your car somewhere. It's just, I love the convenience and I love how cheap it was, you guys. You can get a car for like $10 a night. The other app that I want to talk about would be Noonlight. Now, a lot of you, especially flight attendants or ladies out there or gentlemen who walk alone their hotel room and you feel there's some suspicious activity or something is going on, you just as simply click Noonlight, all right, on your phone. But you know what? This is so much better because you have it on your Apple Watch. Click Noonlight and all you have to do is click send help. Now, what happens is it it's gonna let you know that it's gonna send um, help right away. So now I'm gonna cancel it. It says enter pin, so I don't want you guys to see it. Okay, so now I deactivated the, um, it canceled and I just received a text saying, hey Shelly, are you okay? So you saw how quickly, and then it says, we see that you entered your pin, we're glad that you're okay. Let us know if we need anything, this is Karen. Okay, perfect. So you're gonna click done. Now it does the same thing on the Apple Watch, I mean Apple phone, but on the phone it's free. Now if you wanna use your Apple Watch, it is a $4.99 a month, which is so worth investing. Uh, what happens is you have this button and you can leave it um, on your main screen here. So if there is an emergency, you just have to click it right away and it'll send you, um, especially if you're in a crash or you're in your Uber, it'll send the, um, the coordinates to 911 and it'll call your emergency contact as well and it'll call 911 and get the help as soon as possible. So, and you do not have to talk, you just need to have your watch. Let's talk about noise, you guys. We are in a plane and the noise level is super high. Now, if this noise level keeps going the way that it is, uh, certain areas of the plane, especially if you're situated in the back, back of the plane, and you're closer to the engine and it just, it gets to be so loud. Now, if you are in an area that the decibels are too high, it will let you know and then it'll say long-term exposure to sound at this level, 
should not affect because right now there isn't, but if it does, it'll go on the red and it will let you know, hey, it's too loud and just get away from that area. So it's so important if you are working in a plane to get that notification to stay safe. And so right now, as I'm talking and the noise is around, uh, like the you know, talking, it's right within the norm, but if anything should go higher as a Oh my gosh, see? Have the the stress monitor, you guys. I think it speaks for itself. But what I like about that is if I'm in a really high stressful environment and I'm really like out of control, which is rare, but it does happen. There's just a little reminder here that tells you, hey, you're doing great. You're still in the yellow. See this little ball will move to the blue. And when it gets closer to the red, it says, just take a deep breath, relax. You're like hyper right now, or you're just needing to recover because you are just too like, you know, tension wise, it's a bit too high. And weather now so if you guys are wanting a really good funny slash vulgar app if you guys can handle its sense of humor uh, go to carrot we're gonna click that and uh, that, lucky you it's sunny right now maybe this won't be a terrible day after all <laughs> so it'll just kind of send you a little memo and sometimes it'll insult you <laughs> but it's so cute uh, then it's going to give you the alerts and what's going on uh, precipitation then it's going to give you a forecast. I believe it's like seven days of what I want to say. Um, and then it kind of gives you the percentage of if it's going to rain or not. And then you can adjust it right here. You can kind of swipe on these little dots and kind of figure out where you want to see. So it says clear conditions this afternoon, continue um, continuing through the evening. So it gets a little more specific as you click the dots. Um, it kind of gives you hourly. Oops. And then you can kind of scroll down. There you go. And it kind of gives you the time and the weather at the same time. And you can kind of change location, add a location. Let's say we're going to Los Angeles. That's searching for California. We're gonna click that. And there it is. We have just added, there you go. Stay in your mother's basement. It's sunny out. <laughs> I have a lot of a weather app, but my all time favorite is Weatherbug. I love Weatherbug. It's just at a glance, you can see everything that's going on. Cairo. And then you can go on to Boise. So wherever you're traveling, you can already put them in there before you go and travel. And you can have them right here at the tip of your finger. So. Tell the time. I love world clock and world the time. So let's visit where I'm at and what time it is. Because oftentimes, you guys, we are traveling. We do not know you know, uh, are you, are we ahead? Are we behind time-wise? And it's so confusing. World clock will just kind of tell you today. It is, they are three hours ahead, which means it is four o'clock for them. Because a lot of passengers will ask you, hey, what time is it gonna be when we arrive? And we know exactly what it is when we have this app. Uh, world time is very similar. Let's check it out. Time, and then it'll tell you, but it won't tell you plus or minus. This one will just tell you what time it is over there. Kind of gives you the time here. What I like to do, um, I usually use a different cover here um, and it actually gives me two different times, which I know from home what it is and where I'm at that adjusts the time here. It's just to show you, this would be my time now. Uh, so let's say I'm in California and this would be my time now. Then it would show me here what time it is uh, back home. So you could get the two times right away, just at a glance. Then I'll tell you what day it is, what's the weather, and your timer is here. So it's pretty fantastic. I love also as you change the little crown here, it'll adjust. So the solar dial is the face watch that I use when I travel abroad. Another app, you guys, that I absolutely cannot live without whenever I travel with my kids and we are planning a weekend or a week away Tripsy is the way to go now make sure you set it up on your phone first you can upload your boarding pass your reservation your concert number you take a picture of your uh, you know your tickets or whatnot and then see and everything is gonna be here so let's say we're going to Rocky Mountain this is the address this is at what time it starts this is the website all right, and then if you guys have tickets or whatnot in there, it's gonna tell you, okay, so we're also going to the art museum. Uh, let's see if we have tickets here. All right, da, 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 
the website is here, then it tells you how to get there. So you can click that for the link. You can click to call them. I mean, everything is in here, you guys, and you can just keep writing everything you need. And I put, I called it Bahamas, but you can call it whatever you want. And everywhere you go, you just write it down and you follow through the day and it will remind you throughout the day of everything that you need to know. It actually, it saves everything from links to screenshots of things and everything is in one place. So when you're traveling, you do not have to look for different pictures or different, you know, folders or binders or whatnot. Everything is under one trip. I absolutely love it. Another app you guys that I really, really, truly love is called Card Up pointers all right so card pointers what it does is you need to set it up on your apple phone first you're going to put in all the credit cards that you have so whether it's american express visa mastercard now once you do put that in uh what it's gonna do it's gonna you're gonna set it up whereas it's gonna give you reminders as you purchase things so let's say i'm purchasing online i don't know i'm on amazon and i want something it'll say hold on i do have a coupon code if you use that you'll get a discount. So then it's gonna give me all my offers that I have, the airline, if I buy it with my Capital One Venture card, it'll give me a discount and it's really great. Um, you know, if I want a rental car, it'll give me the amount of discount that I can get with certain discount codes and it'll generate a bunch of codes and do it for you. So as you check out, it just reminds you what every card gives you. So it's great because a lot of times I forget what I can get with my card and what the cash back will be. And it's gonna remind you and try to find you the best price. So I really love card pointers to guys to get this app. A great uh, app, you guys, would be the Flight Stats. So I click that. And then you can put in and insert any flight that you want to follow. So let's say I want to follow this particular flight. It leaves at 2 o'clock uh, on this date and gets in there. So you click that and it's going to give you more info. Is it on time? Estimated time of departure. It is scheduled, so there's no delay. It tells you what terminal, because that's really important. Uh, I like that it's just convenient and it's at the um, just a couple of clicks from your watch you guys and you know exactly what you need now the only downfall is you can't add any flights on here you have to add them on your phone but then it'll upload here for you now as for the flight tracker you guys it's very similar to flight stat the only thing is it gives you a little more information so for example my upcoming flight here is from Phoenix to Las Vegas. Now, if you scroll this way, it'll give you the time, the terminal and the gate and the temperature and the flight number and the present time. Then you're gonna swipe again. All right, and then it's gonna give you an, an actually a little plane to show you exactly the time. And as you go, this little plane will start moving, giving you the distance and a time left. So I thought that was super cute. A lot of information just from one uh, screen but the only thing you need to know is that again you cannot enter your flight number here on your apple watch it has to be done on the app on your phone that's the only disadvantage i have yet to find an app where you can actually enter your flight number right directly on your apple watch so if you guys know of a uh, an app to do so on the apple watch uh, let me know and comment down below because i would love to download that app if you had Another great way to find your flight status would be to actually search on the web. And obviously, we do not have Safari or Google on our Apple Watch, but there are shortcuts and go arounds that are super easy. I will leave the link down below. Just click on that and it'll add your shortcut right away. Now, watch and see for yourself. Hey Siri, web search. Which one? Google, what would you like to search? Flight 3339. And there you have it, you guys. This is the flight, Southwest flight 3339, leaving today from Phoenix, Atlanta, and it gives me the gate, so I'll know exactly where to go if I am to take that flight. Gives me the gate C11. I'll arrive here at C9. It gives me all the information. You can always click it from the actual screen. Uh, if you want more information, you can um, you can browse over here while you're on it. 
you're on Google at this point, so you can just click the browser and browse Google right away. Now, if you guys are interested in the link, I will send that to you, but it is so helpful. I could be driving. I don't even have to use my phone. Now, the best app I've been dying to share with you guys is called Hello AI. Now, I use it all the time. Let's upload it. You'll see. How can I help you? You can ask just about anything that you want, and it will help you. So, for example, ask today's. Where can I get fresh apple today? And then we're going to click done. Today, where can I get fresh apple? Hello. So it's going to just answer and you can play it if you want. Hello. Thanks for reaching out. Can you please specify your location so I can suggest the nearest place to get fresh apples? Sure. Let's speak it. I'm in Southern California. Look at all the places that she suggested. Great. There are many places in Southern California where you can get fresh apples. Here are some options for you. Full stop. Place. Address. Oak Glen Apple Growers 39. Thank you. Another app that I absolutely love. Let's say you are in the plane and they have the music on or you're in the car and you absolutely love this music. You're going to click on Shazam and you're going to click and it's going to listen to the music that you're playing. You can even sing it. And by singing it, it might recognize it and tell you exactly what that song is. App, you guys, that I absolutely love is, I don't know if you are active, but if you are and you are a runner, Map My Run is the best. You click that, you click that you're going to go running. It's going to, you know, give you the GPS once you click it and it's going to give you a heartbeat at the same time. You can set it up, click on the settings. You can set it up to play some music as well guys another app that i really really truly love is motivation it always has little comments to uh, get me through the day whether you're going through a breakup a divorce or you're lonely or you're wanting something more positive in your life or you're wanting some reassurance or whatever it is here it says never get too attached to anyone unless they also feel the same towards you one-sided expectations can mentally destroy you so if you like it you heart it um, stop giving your attention to anything that isn't contributing uh, to your happiness. Your mental health is so much more important. I love how they just pop up on my screen in the morning. Uh, they always give me some motivation. Another pick me up motivational uh, app is I am. You have to download this. I'm sending you a little notification. For example, today it said, I decide to wake up every morning and choose happiness. How cute is that? Now you can choose to go to the next one. Um, I am a loving a person who deserves to be loved fully. Yes. I am strong, I am powerful, I am fit. So, um, it is so cute. I am making the rest of my life the best of my life. I absolutely love them. They're very uplifting, positive, and they really make me smile and make my day. I'll see you guys. You need to get fine items. I believe it just shows up because uh, every iPhone has it. Uh, but this is a life changer. Uh, make sure you also get the app tag, you guys. Those are ways to find your things. I actually got this little rubbery uh, tag holder. So your tag holder is here and you just kind of, it's glue. You know, you can just kind of remove the paper and glue it anywhere you want. I have one in my purse, one on my wallet and one on my remote. So it's so easy. You can never lose it. It never comes off. It's been there for, for months now. So what you do is you're gonna click find items from your Apple Watch. And then what am I looking for? My green wallet, my keys, my small backpack, or my TV remote. And then you wanna play the sound. And then you're gonna hear it. What you can do is you can ask for directions. And then it's gonna say, well, let's try to find it for you. So we have the de-stress monitor, you guys. I think it speaks for itself. But what I like about that is if I'm in a really high stressful environment and I'm really like out of control, which is rare, but it does happen. There's just a little reminder here that tells you, hey, you're doing great. You're still in the yellow. See this little ball will move to the blue. And when it gets closer to the red, it says, just take a deep breath, relax. You're like hyper right now, or you're just needing to recover because you are just too like 
you know, tension wise, it's a bit too high. It's free to just get the, um, you know, the basics, which is your HRV, which is your level of um, stress. Everybody, everybody needs to own the walkie talkie app. You guys, this is what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna show you. And then once you push the walkie talkie app, uh, you choose the person that you want to talk to. Now they have to have the same app as well. And then I'll just leave my finger on and you can contact anyone at any time and you do not need a line or Wi-Fi or whatnot. So that's the beauty of it all. Hi, can you hear me? And then she can answer back. Hello, mommy. Yes, I can hear you. Touch back. Hi, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. And then I can communicate back. All right, don't forget to get some bread at the store. Yeah, no problem. Anyway, so you guys can go back and forth. You kind of get the logistic of it all, but walkie talkie is so cute. Again, you need to add uh, some people on, um, you know, in your from your contact into your walkie talkie app. And, once, and um, you make sure that you turn it on as well. All right.